game of better bet. Let's do it. All right, first on the board. Which team is a better bet to win that AFC North? The one and two Ravens or the undefeated Steelers? We're going to go with the Ravens. I know you love your Steelers, and yes, they are undefeated like you mentioned, but the Baltimore Ravens are not as bad as their one and two record indicates. So let's look I back agree. to Thursday Night Football, the first game of the season. They would have ended up winning this had it not been, of course, for Isaiah Likely's foot. And then against the Raiders, the Raiders made a big fourth quarter comeback. They end up losing that game. Last week, it was a get-right spot against Dallas. They were able to do that, but the defense does need to be better. Okay, they're 20th in defensive efficiency. But at the same time, when you look at the Steelers, I mean, you're facing Bo Nix, Kirk Cousins, who else? Justin Herbert. Like, for only like a couple mm, quarters. Yeah, the defense is great, but the offense needs to put up points in order for you to win. So that's really important. So I'm going to go with the Baltimore Ravens. Well, I respect your opinion. It's the wrong one. Of the better course. bet there Naturally. is. The He's going with the Steelers. <laughs> who would have thought? I mean, look, first off, look at the price. You're getting almost 2x on your return if you bet the Steelers right now. They're undefeated because, of course, undefeated. It's Mike Tomlin, and he's got a quarterback that is not turning the football over. He's got a defense that is as dominant as ever, led by T.J. Watt. This is a recipe he has used to win 10 or more games for 17 years. It works, and the Bengals, they look like they stink. Deshaun Watson Bengals and the Browns, uh-uh. This is the only real that, that competition, well. and because that price, that's why I say it's the better I mean, it's bet. it's come down so much. How, we were, I was talking a lot about I wish I would have got it season. earlier. And don't roll back the tape on that. There's still some time, though, to Not get some look. value there on the Steelers, if you believe in them like me. All right, better bet in the NFC North. Would it be the Lions who are favored to win this division mm. or the undefeated Vikings? All right, I'm going to go with the Minnesota Vikings. Oh. Yeah. Me and touchscreens never do well together for some reason. <laughs> Minnesota Vikings in this spot. They've obviously started undefeated, and they've really surprised me for that matter. I mean, they beat the Giants by 22 points. Then they played the 49ers. They were able to beat them, and that's with Brock Purdy throwing over 300 passing yards. Mason had 20 carries, over 100 rushing yards. Zebo was great in that game as well, and they still beat them, and they beat the Texans by 27 points. you got a Minnesota team that's fourth in offensive efficiency, second in defensive efficiency, so they have looked really good. And as for the Detroit Lions, sometimes they just, like, don't get it done. So... <laughs> I'm going to go with the Vikings in this one. All right, surprise, surprise. Oh. I am on the Lions here. We uh, set this up funny, huh? Now, that's the producers on that one. I will point out that there's a team missing in the Green Bay Packers well, from here. Yes, we but had do, we had to do what we were. The assignment was to pick between these two teams, and I'll go with the preseason favorite. The Lions are 2-1. and one. They haven't even played close to, I think, their best football. They've left a lot of points, I feel like, on the field so far this season. The defense is what makes me believe. Aiden Hutchinson might win Defensive Player of the Year. They are much better on that side of the ball as opposed to last year when they were a really good team. So if that positive regression comes from the offense, as great as the start has been for I've the been Vikings. I've expecting that a little bit. I mean, they haven't been putting the points up, especially that game against the Bucks. Like, they tried to lose that game. Come on. They did. Let's That's see if we can find some agreement in this division, the NFC West. The preseason favorite is the Niners. The surprise undefeated team is the Seahawks, which is a better bet to win it. I'm going to go with the Niners in this spot. All right, Seahawks fans, do not come for me, but the level of competition that you've played just really <laughs> hasn't been that great. You beat the Broncos, so Bonex. Okay, then you beat the Patriots. Uh, they were expected to be the worst team in the league. And then you beat Skylar Thompson in Miami. All right, like... I get that you're getting the wins, but at the same time, it doesn't necessarily mean you're going to win the division. Now, as for the 49ers, I mean, yes, they've looked bad the past two games, I would say, but they're still a really good mm -hmm. dominant team that I think can get it going throughout the rest of the season. So between the two, because you get it plus even money, I should say, I would go with the 49ers. It was set up. I was set up to fail on that one, if we would agree. Go with the Seahawks. I'm going right. to go with the Seahawks here. <laughs> won the better price, plus 175, and I do think, even though they have played kind of inferior competition. I do think this team is for real. Geno Smith and that offense, they're really, really good. Geno's balling, but it's what Mike McDonald is doing with that defense. Right now, the Seattle Seahawks have one of the better defenses in the NFL based on a per-snap basis. They have great players like Devin Witherspoon. They have a young star in Byron Murphy. And Geno and that offense, I think, have been underrated for a while now. With Ryan Grubb there and with Mike McDonald coaching that defense, I think the staff is better than it's been in a long time in Seattle. That's why I take Wait them. Wait till they play a good team, though. We will find out. When they, when they, week one, they look good against. That, that team's you know, banged up over there. That, that they Niners are, team is banged up. Don't worry. Give it two more weeks, and we'll see all the teams are banged. I tell you what, by the end of the season, we're going to find out, because we're on opposite sides of all of them, who